Pencil Projects. Today we're talking about how we, we took the rafter, uh, the top cuts we made on these rafters for this playhouse, and now how we're going to go ahead and uh, cut the bird's mouth cuts down here. So the way we have to measure that is it depends entirely upon the span that we're trying to cover. And uh, the span we're trying to cover today is 79, and uh, I believe it's 79 and 3 quarters. Okay, so uh, what we're going to need to do is we're going to actually going to have a a, uh, a piece that this butts up against like that. And so what we'll need to do is take off three quarters of an inch on either side of that length to get our total span for each of these pieces. So we'll divide that span uh, by two and then minus three quarters of an inch here to get what our span needs to be. So what we're going to do is I do this kind of just kind of a general check. Just run this against this and I'll run here just to kind of see where I am. But I want to see the total span at about 39 inches for this once it's been compensated for the for the uh, top rail there. So about 39 there. So I mark that and then based off of what I calculate so we know that you know A squared which is our 39 plus a B squared, or we have our angle, we'll take our angle here of 22.5 degrees, these raptors are 22.5 degrees, so that angle plus our 39 here, we do the A squared, well essentially we use a Pythagorean uh, theorem to do that, or we can use, um, I just found a, a right triangle calculator online, so it's easy to kind of see what this distance should be, and it should be 42.2 inches, once we apply our 22.5 degrees to our 39, inches across the bottom. So we mark this at 42.2. Let's start out there. And then, what we can do there, mark that out. So I'll bring this down a little closer, you can see how we create the bird cut. Bird mouth cut. Okay, so based upon what we know, this is our mark here. This should be our top piece. So from this, this way is 30, this is 39 inches, this is 42.2, and this angle here is 22.5 degrees, okay? So you can find a right triangle calculator online anywhere, or you can figure out your your rise over run, figure out your a squared plus b squared to get your hypotenuse in that right triangle. So anyway, uh, but what we did, just use a calculator online to get your length across the top, we double check that, so that gives us this point here. So now what we need to do is create the mark where we want to cut for the bird's mouth cut so that this will sit upon the top plate of the wall in this place, not playhouse. So the way I do this is, once again, we know we have a 22.5 degree angle, so that applies here too. So I take 22.5, we've got this as our quick uh, estimate, plus this one here is kind of, I use this to fine tune. I find it helps to be as close as possible and uh, it'll never be perfect, but uh, as close as possible usually is good enough. So, uh, we mark this, okay. So we got our straight down line there. And then we're gonna measure up from here to see what, um, see where we need to cut at. So we know that this steel plate is 22, uh, it's an inch and a half, this is two by four. So we're gonna mark our inch and a half on this mark here. Top marks it. And then what we're going to do is I'm going to take this pivot point again. This pivot point is a great tool. And once again, I'm going to go ahead and measure, get my 22 degrees. Now this time I'm using the 90 degrees minus 22 and a half, which puts me at 80, 70, minus 2.5, which is right here. Okay. And I move this until I got this point here. And we take it across. Now, if I did this right, should be pretty close at three and a half inches, which is what we want. That's the top of the plate, and that's three and a half inches is what we should see for the width of a two by four top plate. So that looks right. Anyway, we take take a look at that, make sure it looks right. Always want to do a double check, and then we'll cut it.
All right, you can see the results of the frame here. We've got basically our first mouth cut, which is the top of this top plate. And you can see the way we cut this, it's almost perfectly straight. I'm really happy with that. And uh, like I said, we just did one cut um, for each of these uh, raptor sides. So just took one, if a piece of wood from um, two by six by eight, and we cut those in half at an angle to create our top cut there. So. Then we drove the, uh, there's actually a screw here on these ones, but the, uh, you can see how it's been toenailed in both sides. We'll probably put some, you can take a dollar for a strap here, like a hurricane strap, just to secure this. But um, otherwise, it's pretty good. Pretty happy with that. And uh, that's what it looks like. So now what we're going to do is put fascia, basically a fascia. I'm using a 1x6 ducking board. And uh, it's a little cheaper too. Same with these here. And we'll run that as our overhang here. We'll run it along here. And on the other side, and that'll protect this wood as well. So anyway, let's get started.